Alrighty guys, we're back in Flash today. Um, we're going to be um, exploring some of the other little options that you can do uh, in Flash. Um, today we're going to start off by enabling a grid. So we're going to go up here to view, we're going to go down to grid and click show grid. Ah, oh, there's a grid there. Um, you can also go down here and edit the grid if you want to. Um, color. You can have it. I, I'm going to turn on snap to grid so that way um, my things will kind of like go down in certain increments. Um, and you can also change how many pixels it is vertically and horizontally. Um, and then the snack app, um, accuracy. Um, let's put, must be close. Um, all right. So now we're going to go up here and let's make an object. Let's go with an oval, like ovals. Um, so we're going to draw out an oval here. When you get that little thing there in the corner like that and it kind of like snaps to there. That means it's a circle. So that can be helpful. So I'm going to let go. Um, we can change the color of it if we want. So it's like, oh, I hate blue. I'm more of a maroon kind of guy. Let me go up here. Boom. Do that. Um, and then what we can do is we can go to this thing. This is a new frame. So the first frame here, there is no circle. In the second frame, there is. Um, there's a shortcut for adding these keyframes up here. All you have to do, I'll show you what you have to do first because it auto doesn't automatically default to this. You have to go over to keyboard shortcuts. Now, this will be right here. It will be set at Adobe Standard. You don't want Adobe Standard. You want to come down here to Flash 5. And that way you, you have all the Flash specific shortcuts. I don't know why it doesn't start out like that, but it's a little annoying. Um, but then from there, you can just press F6 and be like, Okay, and so now we have a bunch of keyframes here. Um, so let's go to the third one here and move this bad boy down slightly. And go over another one. And see how it shows me where it was before? That way I can know kind of how much I'm moving it. Move it a little more. And then maybe it's like, oh no. And then it's all like, oh no. I don't even know where I'm going. OK. So there we have some things. So now you have your thing. You want to turn off the grid so that way you can, it looks like a normal picture. Um, and then I have this beautiful movie now that I want to, that I have here. OK. Oops, hold on. Um, that I want you know people to see because it's amazingly awesome. Oh, I love that movie. Um, so you want to go up here and you want to export it. So you're going to go here, you're going to click Export Movie, and then name it. Um, got documents. You can click your thing. Uh, Flash Movie is what people like to put on um, like Flash Movie files and things. GIF, you can put it as a, a sequence here, so that way you can play it in a web browser. So let's try that here. Um, I'll keep all that stuff the same. Now we head over here. Documents. We have ball. And then here's all our GIF sequences. Now this is what you would then bring into Photoshop to um, to make into a uh, an actual GIF file like it is that Mark made. Oh, darn it. Hmm. That's what we want. There we go. Thank you, Mark. All right. So now we got this. And that didn't work either. You got to open it and hate this stupid thing. All right. We're going to go and open that in Safari then. Oh, yeah. And that's 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 a way. It's actually a little easier than Photoshop. That's a way you can make a GIF if you want to. Subscribe, subscribe. Go make yourself a GIF, don't you? 